Do you need to write a data management plan? In this video, we will explain how to use dmponline.be. An online tool to help researchers write their data management plan, or DMP. The first thing you'll need to do is to log in. You can log in with your institutional account, or select sign in with ORCID. Once you are logged in, the dashboard will show you an overview of your plans, and, for each of your plans, you can see that different options are available. To create a new plan, navigate to the top menu and click on the Create Plan button. The tool will now take you through a few steps to get your data management plan started, and to determine which DMP template it needs to show you. First, give a comprehensive title for the project for which you are writing a DMP. If you are just creating a test or mock DMP, indicate it by checking the box. Visibility of mock projects is private by default. Then, select your institution, so that you can choose a template and see guidance from your organization. Start typing the name of the funding agency for which you are preparing a DMP, and select it from the drop-down list. You will get a customized DMP template. If you are not writing a plan for an external funder, or if your external funder is not listed, Simply check no funder associated, or my funder is not listed. In that case, you can select other institutional templates. In this video, we will assume we are writing a DMP for FWO. Once you are ready, click on the Create Plan button. You can now edit your plan. You can see that for each plan, there are a series of navigation tabs, sometimes referred to as phases of your plan. Use the Project Details tab to complete the administrative details for your project. Add a short description of your project, the start and end date, your project identifier, and so on. This is also the place to select which guidance you would like to see during the DMP development. The default guidance sources will be already selected. You can also select other sources that may be available, for example, from the Data Curation Center, or from your faculty or department. Just tick the corresponding boxes. Now it's time to start writing our DMP. Some funders require a data management plan, or a short version of it, at the proposal stage. If this is the case, you can use the application tab to write it down. To write a full version of the data management plan, go to the DMP tab. This tab may have a different name depending on the selected template. A DMP consists of several sections, each with one or more questions. To answer the questions, use the text boxes available, or any other answer format such as checkboxes, drop-down menus, etc. Note that there is a text formatting bar. For example, you can create bullet lists or a table. Once you are done with a question, remember to save your changes. As you go along, the progress bar at the top of the page will show you how much you've done. Guidance to answer each of the questions is available on the right side of the page. Navigate through the different guidance sources you have previously selected, and click the plus button to expand it. You can use the comments tab to leave a note to yourself or to people you have shared the plan with. Indeed, DMP Online allows you to share your plan with others. Using the Share tab you can give other users, such as a collaborator or supervisor, access to your plan and clarify each user's role. In this tab you can also adjust the visibility of your plan, which is private by default. But once your plan is finished, you can show a read-only version to all users of your institution, if you choose to do so. To give someone else access to your plan, just type his or her email address, choose a permission level and indicate the contribution role in the project. Hoover over the permission section to understand the differences between the different permission levels. Finally, click on Submit to add the collaborator. Collaborators will see the plan displayed in their dashboard, next time they log in to dmponline.be. Once you have completed your plan, you can export it in a number of different formats using the Download tab. Select the format of your choice from the drop-down menu, and then select the phase you want to export. You can also choose between different formatting styles. Once you are happy with the settings, simply hit the download button. The tool will download your DMP in the selected format. 
Certain templates contain a GDPR record tab and a data protection impact assessment tab or DPIA. These are not part of the DMP template as such, but can be used when you plan to process personal data during your research. The tabs may contain additional sections and questions added by your institution to register personal data processing activities and can be used to comply with requirements imposed by the General Data Protection Regulation. What happens if you have more than one institutional affiliation or your email address changes? If your different accounts are linked to your ORCID and you sign into the tool using your ORCID ID, you can easily switch between accounts and select the one you wish to use. Go to the Edit Profile section and click on Link to ORCID. This will redirect you to the ORCID website. Once there, you can sign in to make the link. So, go to dmponline.be and get started with your DMP.